Hello everyone, I am Mohammed Hassan and today's video is about AI image generation tool which is by Adobe which is called Firefly. Uh, I really love the name of this tool Firefly. Anyhow, so it is right now in beta and uh, I think it doesn't work uh, very well but I think you can generate a lot of great design ideas from this tool. Okay, so I recently got my access uh, over here and I wasn't able to, you know, see how to use it actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, it has three different uh, ways of using it, recolor, recurring vectors, text effects and text to image. I'm not able to understand this tool, but these two are really, really handy. So let's, uh, I will show you what I actually have generated in the past. So you can see this is my gallery uh, this is my prompt, very long. I kept on saying that tattoo-less body or no tattoos, but still it was generating tattoos on the body of this um, designer or programmer, what is, whatever. And this is leather stitched, bright stitched brown leather. Huh? Bright. Anyhow, uh, white 40 plus male with blue eyes. I'm not sure what this is with black robe. Uh, these are few different white women with big blue eyes. Uh, the Most of the results I was getting were really, really bad. But some of them were really nice. Like you can see over here, this one, this one. All these. These are these text uh, effects. So you can see with chocolate. Chocolate truffles with candies. Liquid dripping dark chocolate. Uh, these are also chocolates. This is actually the name of my daughter. And this is the name of my son. Uh, you can see a few more anime style. Um, these are again tall, young, teen girl, cute, white Disney with a blue and golden tiara, pink lipstick, all these details. So um, in the end, I think some uh, works like these few, they are really stunning. This one, this one, this one really love. I, I really love this one. This is a really nice result. They are very similar, these two. But um, overall, a nice uh, start. And let's uh, let me show you. Go back to home, and uh, let's try to use this generate. So this is basically the gallery. So you can uh, try and iterate any other. Uh, for example, these are the few examples. So um, let's try to use this prompt. Okay. So future it. A futuristic car inspired by let's in, inspired by beetle form so it is taking some time I'm not sure okay so this is nice uh, inspired by BMW and Mercedes now I'm going to share with you some of the things like you can see you can change the aspect ratio from here landscape portrait this is nice one Okay, so uh, then you can go to the content type. It's photo, uh, art, graphic or none. And then we have different styles. Like you can see this is palette knife. These are different painting styles. Uh, let's go to movement, psychedelic, science fiction, pop art, um, themes. I, I mostly use this one. So once I uh, apply this one, if I generate now, it will try to create hyperlistic kind of um, images let's see how this actually works and also you can see you can go to different these are different painting effects bold lines oil painting watercolor palette knife then we have different effects um, fish eye bokeh effect misty all these different effects materials clay origami layered paper fur uh, yarn, metal, so all these different effects. So let's add metal over here and uh, let's try to, I, I really like this one. This one is a nice car. Let's try to use metal. Okay, thank you. Let's add more details like blue running lights. Um, Oh, and what we can say exhausts let's try to add more details over here 
and see if something valuable generates over here exhaust spelling of exhaust for not okay anyhow let's see how it actually ends okay next is color and tone it you can have vibrant colors cool tone none uh, black and white uh, muted colors warm pastel colors uh, lightning uh, golden or backlighting so all these different so i'm not sure what it, it is trying to okay so uh, blue headlights let's call it headlights it takes some time and i for me it doesn't create too much um, you know great uh, work sometimes it's very nice sometimes it's just ugly and sometimes it's very very headlights okay so this is this is nice i'm not sure what kind of back of the car is this okay this one is good so let's try to iterate, iterate this and uh, this its iteration is uh, pretty nasty for me uh, it doesn't create very nice uh, you know iterations it totally changes the design so let me show you how and um, i'm not sure what this eye kind of thing is over here oh okay so i really love this one and i really love this one so you can see some of the designs so if i want to download it i can just click over here and i can download this image from here and let's move to uh, this tool i really enjoyed this tool text effects so um, let's try to replicate this one this one i really love and let's use nature over here you can you can uh, okay so there are three things one is the prompt or styles you want to pick second is text effects fit so how fit you want your uh, you know elements to fit inside that text okay tight medium or loose so if i go to tight most of the things that are protruding outside of these designs will you know contain inside it so let's try to select this style from here and uh, you can select the typeface from here I, I really love this one and if I go to lose you will see what how this affects this whole design okay so you now you can see these twigs and these all these stems and twigs they are moving outside of the design so this is uh, I think it's better to have it set to medium for better results so I really love this one this is really really nice and you can also use a transparent background like this you can use a white background you can use a gray you can change all these different backgrounds uh, okay so let's try to use this and export it as a png transparent png and i will show you how it actually looks so let me share with you okay so the only thing that annoys me is this over here <laughs> image not for commercial use i think it is very very nice because a lot of people they started selling these uh, images these generated arts and you know uh, similarly you can see i have generated all these different uh, different designs these arts actually i personally think that um AI tools are really, really good source of getting design inspirations or iterating on a design. So like you can see over here, this could be a very uh, good idea of having a princess. Okay, so this, so these are all different designs. Um, this is basically toast. Similarly, you can see I started with this one uh and this one i i liked it but somehow it, it doesn't feel very nice to me this one is really nice uh some of the prompts they actually produce a very nice results and some of the prompts they actually you know are really really um bad okay so let's try to use uh, jungle wine with flowers 
pink and orange flowers let's try to see if, if something else generates over here okay so i'm waiting okay nice 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 okay this is this is really really nice i really love how this uh, whole uh, design has been created let's try to use orange over here uh, or maybe like this this one really looks nice i think white color is going to blend well because it has some white kind of things over here so let's try to take a screenshot because i want to use it as my thumbnail for this video and let's try to use something else over here let's try to create uh, generate a, a female um let's see how we have this one exposure double exposure portrait okay side profile face of uh um of putin and ocean double exposure let's let's try to use this let's see if it can bring the image of putin from online okay so uh, it, it it says that you have violated the guidelines so i am going to white male with beard so uh it it takes a lot of time i'm not sure but for me it's a lot of time let's try to use themes hyper realistic is selected photo is selected okay so there is one more thing this is photo so okay so this is this is really nice okay so you can also use okay so we have uh, this is this is new white magical princess with blue eyes okay so this is really horrible i'm not sure why it you know went to the horror kind of um cute let's add the word cute because mostly when i don't add the word cute it generally generates a kind of um, you know wizards and you know kind of villains okay so this is really strange oh i'm not sure what what happened over here a teen cute white girl let's have a super moral face okay this one i like okay so let's try to vary this there is one problem that it actually blurs all the hands and also the eyes they are not clear they are like you know blurred and mixed kind of eyes which is really you know strange for me okay so i'm going to favor this anyhow so this is how you try to use adobe firefly and uh, i hope that this video will help you a lot in exploring these you can uh, uh, for me this is really really strange in a sense that um this is kind of uh, content or design plagiarism at its best so it is kind of ai trying to combine different arts and all that stuff from different people and creating a new thing so which is good uh, for generating ideas but uh, for a real design or real project i think this is not a good um, or sensible approach so this is my two cents i hope that you have uh, let's open this you can see the eyes over here the details in the eyes this is really really uh, blurred out and very strange which i really don't like anyhow so the, the her eyes are clear but her eyes i'm not sure what happened maybe uh, the eyes were not they were brown and maybe uh, ai tried to make them blue which is really horrible Okay, so this is my two cents about Adobe Firefly. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and share this video. I will meet you with another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.